it's going to be a murder. Come around up on me. So currently starting off the day, I just listed my brand new V2s, the cream white size 13 on my website for 550 shipped. I feel like that was a fair price. Again, I was trying to find a size 12. I bought these. If you guys saw the episode, I bought these just because I saw they were good price. And to be honest, I really wanted a pair of Yeezys. But after trying them on, they are a little too big. It's a gamble. When you're buying Yeezys, you can't try them on at stores. And when you're buying, you usually can't try them on because once they touch the floor, it's like not considered dead stock or whatever. I don't know. People are crazy about that. So I do have to find a size 12. So size 13. 100% legit, 550 ship, link down below. Also, a huge shout out to everyone that's been placing orders these past few days. I think we did about 20 orders in the past two days. Honestly, thank you guys so much. As you guys know, I'm trying to get rid of everything. Today, I am going to the storage unit and today is gonna be the personal. The vlog title is probably gonna be like $10,000 worth the inventory. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let's get it. We warp into the storage unit. So I already have a little bag of stuff that I wanna bring. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys, I am going to Buffalo Exchange, so I already brought a bag of stuff that I want to bring, and then stuff that I want to put back into the storage. We actually got these at Buffalo Exchange last time, the BBC short, uh, jeans, and then all the other t-shirts. Again, I am going to be going through personal stuff, so let's go look at the personal jacket. By the way, whoever asked me if the Saucony insoles and the New Balance insoles come out, yes they do. So if you're size 13, you can easily take out the insoles and they should fit you. The Sauconys do run big, so they might even fit you with the insoles. That's the reason why I haven't worn them, just because they are a little bit big on me. Shout out to everyone that placed an order. I'm pulling all the orders now to have them shipped out by tomorrow. Scarface. Shout out to the dude from Cali that's copping this personal grail in my opinion. Another pair of Vans that need to go. These are a size 12, brand new, never worn, like these super soft, buttery brown leather. Brand new, never worn. Next pair of shoes to go is this Wheat Nike Air Force Ones. These are a size 11, but they probably fit about 11 and a half since Air Force usually runs a little bit big. I think I've worn these about three times, so they pass as dead stock, really good condition. And these are a few years old. These are from 2015. They're not the ones that released last year. So just to give you that a heads up. All right, now I'm gonna quickly run through the personal jackets that I'm giving up or that I'm selling. Now keep in mind, I'm not selling these because I need to. I'm selling these because I want to. So for the people that are gonna lowball me and say, can you do 50% off? No, I can't. I will only sell these when I'm comfortable at selling at. If not, then I'm just going to hold on to them. Simple as that. So to start it off, we have this size medium, but could probably fit a large Polo Ralph Lauren from 1993 hoodie. You have the P93 patch, the RLPC67. Again, it is a size medium, but could probably fit a size large. Next, we have a size large we have the guess usa in the yellow and navy this is an elongated jacket with the guess usa spell out no cracking or anything this is honestly really hard to come by i only seen one other for sale and it was a size small so super fire i'm kind of sad that i'm getting rid of this but it is a size xl and it does not fit me that well uh, it's honestly not in pristine condition. There is some spots and stains, so I'm not going to be asking full price on this. I mean, I know they go for $350, $400, but I'm not going to be asking that much for this. But vintage Tommy Hill figure reversible. The reversible side is red. So good luck, guys, whoever wants this. Next, we have a camel bomber, size large, with the camel smoking like that. Another rare piece to find. Okay, this I'm kind of contemplating if I want to sell or not. It is a sign by Tommy Hilfiger himself. If you guys watch that vlog, you know that it's 100% legit. This is a size XL, so it doesn't fit me. It is a little bit big, so that's the reason why I'm willing to sell this. Hilfiger spelled out on the back. No cracking, a uh, little cracking actually on the flag, but nothing too major, but just that signature, man. It really ties everything together. Next, I have this Hilfiger sailing gear. On the right side, we have Tommy Hilfiger sailing gear, all embroidered. Then on the left, we have a 3M Tommy patch. This, instead of white, it is 3M, so it's reflective. Hilfiger sailing patch right there, and this is a size large. Also on the back, we have that. I've had this one before, and it's sold pretty fast. Size XL, but probably could fit a large. 
we have the camel paper thin windbreaker like Teflon jacket. Another piece that I'm sad to let go, this A-Life Olympics. If you guys remember, I found this at Plato's Closet, and this was a rip-off of Olympics. Olympics did this, and A-Life copied it. This is a size large, though. All on the back, embroidered A-Life, super nice sweatshirt. For the final piece, I'm getting rid of this rip and dip coach jacket. It is a size large. On the back, it says, stop being a pussy. So make sure you guys check link down below for the sizing, pricings, and other pictures. Again, I am selling this just to kind of help out, not really need to sell it. So if for some reason the price is too high, I'm sorry, I can't really go down with it. I'll probably be a little bit flexible, but I'll probably price it at the price that I'm willing to let go. And then for shoes, these are pretty much brand new. I think they were worn once, not by me, but by the person I got it from. Size 11 and a half Nike Air Force Flyknit Multicolor. These things are so light. So size 11 and a half will be on the site. We have these Adidas top 10 with like the burnt orange with the gold accents. Again, another super rare shoe. I've worn these maybe three or four times, but to be honest, they look really good. And these are a size 11, I believe. Yeah, this is a size 11. So this is gonna be on the site as well. Just like that, storage units back. We got all the stuff pulled. This is everything that people have bought and this is stuff I'm bringing to Buffalo Exchange. So I'm combining yesterday's vlog with today's. Yesterday when I pulled up to Buffalo Exchange, I walked inside and they're like, yo, there's seven people in front of you. I'm like, seven people? No, I'm not doing this. So I just quickly left. I didn't even want to look around. Like there were so many people. I didn't think about it. It was a Sunday. So I figured all the tourists or all the people just trying to get rid of stuff for the week or whatever the case may be, I didn't want to wait there. But my boy Richie from Six Souls is on his way. He's going to pick me up. We're gonna go to his shop for a little bit, then we're gonna go to a sneaker shop called Sneak Peek Luxury in Miami. Then I think we might stop at Buffalo Exchange on the way. I'm not really sure what we have planned for today. But he is gonna bring me to the post office, so shout out to everyone that ordered, as well as everyone that ordered a while ago. I'm sorry that it took so long for me to ship it out. It's just I had some personal problems, but don't worry, we're on the grind. Everyone that placed an order within the 24 hours is going out today. Priority shipping, so you guys should get it by Wednesday, no later than that. Maybe Thursday in case like UPS kind of straggles, but don't worry guys, you guys will be getting it this week, I promise. As well as I did upload all the jackets and the Yeezys from yesterday's vlog. You guys saw we went to the storage unit, pulled out all the personal stuff, so I just put that on the website. It is now live, so make sure you guys go check out link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let's get it. made it to Miami with Richie. We about to walk up the sneak peek. I brought the size 13 just to see if they have a size 12. Maybe I'll size swap them. I know I said I was gonna sell them, but if I can get my size, maybe I'd wanna keep them. I'm not too sure, let's see. Oh, I don't know. It is. For you? Obviously. These Ultra Boosts are insane. When is it? Dark flight already. You guys should book flights and let's all go. When is it? July 21st through the Jeez. Stupid crazy. Keymaster with nothing but heat. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinion, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things, I gotta just let it all out. I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about, telling me I should do this, telling me I should do that, telling me, telling me things about rap, talking the truth and then stabbing my back, they will knock me off track, no, no. Too many things have been building, been hard to deal with, I just been drinking. Remember my moves in the past, I'm wondering what was I thinking. Lately I'm living in fear, wondering what if the end is so near All of this shit going on, the shootings are strong One shot to the head and I'm gone, I'm losing control but I can't let it go Cause I'm trying to get more and I've been in the moment I've been in the zone and I'm moving alone I don't pick up the phone when my family call I've been doing it wrong and I don't know what's happening Trying to get what I've just been imagining Getting close and I've just been examining All of the fake shit the game has been packaging I've been keeping real, I've been doing what I feel I've been out here trying to kill every beat I know I will, everything I'm working on I'm 
what most of the people are so close minded They go into school and they work in a job but they don't even like it I won't be put in a box, nobody telling me what I should rock Nobody telling me what I should drop cause I do what I want and just know I don't stop Recording till 4 in the morning, they snoring, I'm pouring my soul into every story I'm writing, producing, I mix it, I master, I'm building my craft and I'm not looking back I've been going doing things I want to do when I want to Everybody want to get away but they not Well unfortunately they didn't have a size 12 so I'm leaving with a size 13 but Richie is leaving about eight pairs of Yeezys. <laughs> that boy cashed out. Finally made it to Buffalo Exchange. Then we found a full Marlboro track suit. We got the pants with the matching top. Unfortunately, the top does have a little black stains on, so we're gonna leave this. KDs. So I just got back to Richie's shoe store and unfortunately Buffalo Exchange as you guys know they don't really allow me filming and today they were kind of really like I pulled out my camera and they're like hey you know there's no filming so that's why I couldn't really film but if you guys saw we did find two Bape shirts unfortunately it didn't have the inner tag that has like the little gold ape logo so I felt like they were fake as well as the sizing was super off it said size XL but it looked like it was like a kids XL so I know that they don't make kids so unfortunately I did leave those. They were asking $25 a piece. If they were asking maybe 10 or 11, I would have maybe taken the chance and I could have done more research to find out if they're real or not. But for $25 a piece, it just wasn't there. As well as I did bring in two bags of stuff and they didn't buy that much. Usually, you know, they always cash me out by a lot of stuff. But I don't know if it's because we came in so late or whatever the case is, but they didn't buy as much as I thought. I only had about $60 in trade. So what I did end up getting with the trade is this size medium public enemy it's like a cutoff t-shirt with the obey at the bottom I am gonna keep this for personal you know summer's coming up with living in Florida it's gonna be super hot and this graphic is just ridiculous so I'm so hyped to find this the next item I got if you guys saw Supreme did a collab with Lacoste and they came out with like a baby or pastel yellow well look what I found today this super super light and I mean super light it's honestly perfect for summertime this pastel yellow with the Lacoste alligator right there. This is Izod Lacoste, which is a vintage Lacoste. It's not a new age. And unfortunately, the size is cut out, so I'm going to have to try it on. But if I had to guess, it's probably about a large. And make sure you guys check link down below for pricing and sizing. Next, nothing too hype, but I honestly fell in love with this shirt. It's like an American flag shirt. Stars going across up top in like this tie-dye form. Then at the bottom, we have the stripes. Back top we have America all in big letters and then continuing down with the flags this is a size XL but again I think I'm gonna keep this for personal just cuz I really like this shirt I feel like it's fire then the last cop of the day which I think is the grail we found this vintage Adidas from 1990 as you guys see it says family member right there Italia 90 and then family style sponsored by Adidas Budweiser and then the banana company USA up top so if I had to guess I'm guessing that this was like a almost family and friends obviously because it says family member that they gave to the people that were participated in the actual event on the left side we do have Adidas logo you can barely see it though and then you have the 3M going down almost like in a V shape and wrapping around the back I don't know if you guys can see the 3M is right there. Yeah, they can see it for sure. There is no hood, it's just like a regular thing. Unfortunately, the size tag is washed out, but if I had to guess, it's probably a large. Do you guys remember last time I went to Buffalo Exchange? I got this Adidas jacket, but unfortunately, they left the tag on it. So I'll show you guys again. It's this Adidas color with the New York skyline. On the back, it says Manhattan with the Adidas and the New York in the back with the three red stripes going down the sleeves. This is a size large. And now I'm gonna show you what Richie ended up getting. He brought as well a bag of clothes and for some reason they just weren't copping things, you know? Stuff that you think or they, that they should buy, they weren't buying. But he did pick up a few shirts. We'll start it off with this, this shirt with the black tie-dye. It's from 2005. It's the Destroyer. 
We have this custom tie dye 2006 Slayer, the Summer Tour. I think I showed this shirt in the vlog before, but I just didn't pick it up. But we have the I Have a Dream with the I Have the Dream on the back. So I just realized that I actually sold Buffalo Exchange this shirt. If you guys remember, we had this like 2XL Obama MLK shirt. So yeah, Richie just picked that up, not even knowing, so that's kind of funny. I also picked up this Jacksonville Jaguar shirt. Apparently he knows a couple of the teammates, so that's going to be like a personal thing for him. And you guys know we find these all the time, but Richie had to pick up the Dare shirt. Another shirt that I think I sh took a picture on Instagram and a lot of people were asking for it, but for some reason I didn't pick it up. I think I didn't have enough trade in that time. But it's the tie-dye three-colored Miami Dolphins. And unfortunately, that's all we have for today. Like I said, we did end up bringing a lot of stuff and they just didn't end up buying it. So make sure you guys check out a link down below for all the sizing and pricing. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. Talk about your body, but I bet you ain't gonna play with me. Try me if you wanna. I stay with that burner on me. I can't let you get no rip off me. Nigga must think I'm a horse up. I don't know.